Welcome to the Wackadoodle News. Updates and commentary regarding conspiracies and other juicy topics that people can't stop talking about. Over a million Facebook users say that they're going to raid Area 51 in Nevada on September 20th in a quest to see aliens. More than 800,000 others say that they're interested in going. The clearly tongue-in-cheek Facebook event page is titled Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop All of Us, and states we can run faster than their bullets. Yeah, I doubt that. It's inviting users from around the world to join a ninja run into the area. The mysterious Area 51 has been the subject of conspiracy theories for decades. Many people believe that the U.S. government stores its secrets about UFOs and aliens at the military site. Area 51 is a secret United States Air Force military installation located at Groom Lake in southern Nevada. It is administered by Edwards Air Force Base in Southern California. The installation has been the focus of numerous conspiracies involving extraterrestrial life, though its only confirmed use is as a flight testing facility. For years, there has been speculation about the installation, especially amid growing reports of UFO sightings in the vicinity. The site became known as Area 51, its designation on maps of the Atomic Energy Commission. Conspiracy theories gained support in the late 1980s when a man who stated to have worked at the installation claimed that the government was examining recovered alien spacecraft. In 2013, the U.S. government officially acknowledged the existence of Area 51. In that year, the National Security Archive at George Washington University obtained through the Freedom of Information Act a formally classified CIA document that chronicled the history of the U-2 spy plane. A heavily redacted version had been previously released in 1998. According to the report, test flights of that spy plane and subsequent aircraft accounted for many of the UFO sightings in the area. The U-2 would reach altitudes much higher than any other planes at the time. After the U-2 was put into service in 1956, Area 51 was used to develop other aircraft, including the A-12 reconnaissance plane, also known as Oxcart, and the stealth fighter F-117 Nighthawk. Trying to stay warm, we continue to tend the fire. That's when the Area 51 security performed another drive-by. All of our tripods, cameras, and telescopes must be making them feel very uncomfortable. Just after midnight, the military security paid us another visit. It seems that each time they come, the visits last a little longer. What do you guys think about this? Do you think it's going to happen? you think like 500 people out of a million are going to show up and they're going to try to put them on buses? Man, if, if even if a half million people showed up, you know, it, it would take 10,000 buses to get people into the Nevada uh, correction system or whatever you're going to do. That just seems wrong. I mean, come on. Oh, are they just going to shoot them? Yeah, just shoot them right in the fucking head. Yeah. No, that's not going to happen, guys. This is just a bunch of crap. You look at different people who have camped out legally around Area 51 at night and seen how they've been harassed by the camo dudes and everything. Okay, they've blocked the road on me. They never sat there that long before. I'm about to drop one of these cameras, I'll tell you that. Oh, now they turn down their lights. Oh, now they turn their lights up. off. The heck?
Yeah, it's not it's not exactly what you want to be doing with your time. I don't know, maybe you do. Maybe you're bored and you you want to go to jail or you're hungry and you don't you need some food and you know they're going to feed you, give you a PBJ or something in there. But you don't know. They could end up flying over with helicopters and spraying everybody with sleeping gas and you guys all wake up the next morning out in the desert with your butts up in the air and you got a sore rump and they'll just tell you that you guys were all abducted by aliens. Ha ha. So, yeah, I, don't, I, I, I mean, I'm put down as I'm going, but I'm sure, you know, another million people are doing the same thing. But, yeah, I'm, I'm seriously probably not going to go. Right now I'm working about 40 miles from Groom Lake, so I'm definitely going to be taking a drive over today and just kind of reminiscing, getting my Area 51 on before September 20th because that's going to be a shit show. The Air Force is politely but firmly suggesting that anyone who is actually planning to storm Area 51 might want to reconsider. They said Area 51 is an open training range for the U.S. Air Force and we would discourage anyone from trying to come into the area where we train American Armed Forces, warned Air Force spokesperson Laura McAndrews in a Washington Post interview. Yeah. More than a million people have responded and said, you know, to this satirical Facebook event, you know, they're like, yeah, I'm, I'm going. I'm down, man. I'm going. I got my crew, man. I'm going to show up in the four by. Got my IROC. We're going to go out to the desert. I don't know. I think you guys should ask Christian and see what he thinks. See if he thinks it's a good idea to go fuck with the camo dudes. I know that the UFO Seekers channel spent time at Area 51. Of course, they spent a lot of time there, Tickaboo Peak and all that, but uh, more more especially down in the floor of the desert there in the valley. And, uh, yeah, they got messed with all night long. And then Christian, he stayed the night there. I think it was like five degrees or something out, and he was slept in his truck. Who knows why? He's not a bum. He actually has a job, you know, and a YouTube channel. But, yeah, they messed with him. Camo dudes came in there with their lights and really messing with him and... But, I mean, you know, why are you there? That's that's the whole question. Why are you out there? That's kind of like their backyard. So if you were out in my backyard, I'd come out with a fucking shotgun and see what you were doing, too. Seriously. So I don't know. Um, you might want to stay out of their backyard. I think it's going to end up being a big zero. That's what I think, personally. But I don't know. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you so much for subscribing, and have a great day. It was a big herd of uh, coyotes. They took off. Whoever that is, they are moving. <laughs>